Welcome. This short video will provide you with knowledge of how to build a PID loop in Compact Control Builder and downloading to an AC800M controller. To engineer Compact Control Builder, there are many ready-made solutions. Engineering of Compact Control Builder is done on three different levels. The hardware, such as I.O. and controller setup, is configured in the controllers tree. The application is configured in the application tree and is generally a set of ready-made solutions from the libraries. The process object extended library contains valves and motors. The signal library contains modules for digital and analog output and input signals. In the control solutions library there are a number of very powerful composite PID solutions to be used out of the box like cascade controlling, a single loop, and also feed forwarding. In the Control Builder config view, we will browse applications and build our PID in the demo CCB engineering application. Right-click on Control Modules, select New Control Module. Here it is possible to choose one of the ready-made PID controllers previously shown. In this case, I will choose the single loop. Let's name it Demo PID and click OK. Set name and description to the PID. And also the mandatory IO connections. In this example, the IO variables has already been defined and connected to the IO board. It's the process value and the output of the controller. Save and close. Now we have created our demo PID. Let's download the project and go online and see how we can interact with the PID controller. There are a few dialogues to interact with during download of the application. The first one provides an opportunity to select which controllers in the project to download to. The second online analysis dialog gives information about which applications that will have a new version of the application in the controller. It also provides a possibility to cold restart a selection that will inevitably erase the running application and create a new one in the controller. Now we're online. If you right click on the demo PID, you can choose interaction window. and this compact control builder online graphic reduces time and improves availability during commissioning. Click the PID controller and you'll get a faceplate. Let's bring up the trend display to monitor the PID action. If we enter a set point value, 60 for instance, and then we need to put the PID controller in automatic mode and it will start controlling. To start an Autotune of the PID, click the Parameters button and select Autotune. Note that the advanced PIDs can handle all kinds of PID scenarios including feed forward, cascade, etc. The PID and the control bill of graphics offers fantastic commissioning functionality with its unique features such as already mentioned auto-tuning and additional sets of configuration parameters. With these few quick steps we have now configured, downloaded and started a PID controller in the Compact Control Builder. If you are previously familiar with the 800XA system engineering tool, it's obvious that the Compact Control Builder is exactly the same engineering tool as 800XA. Thank you for watching this video and good luck with your engineering.